Hey guys, Prowl1701 here, and today we're doing another face-off. And on this one, once again, we're comparing a season from Classic Who with its corresponding series from Modern Who. And today we're going to be looking at season two versus series two. And my question was, which one of these two seasons between Classic season two and Modern series two do you think is better, or which one do you prefer watching? And this one went about the way it was. I expected it to go, because Series 2 is kind of considered the weakest of the Russell T. Davis era and the only one that's really considered a mixed bag. So I expected Season 2 to run away with it, and it did. But first, I will say for the record that I prefer classic Season 2. Uh, series 2, again, is a mixed bag. It has some very good highs. You have School Reunion. You have uh, The Girl in the Fireplace. Uh, even Idiot's Lantern's not a bad watch. Uh, the the two-part finale is fine. You have some strong episodes in it. The Cyberman two-parter is quite possibly the best Cyberman episodes in the modern series. They're really good. It's a great way to introduce the Cybermen to the modern show while doing a different spin on them, having them from a parallel universe. Very clever. Uh, great cast in it as well. But, of course, it has its stinkers like Love and Monsters and Fear Her. Uh, New Earth isn't really that interesting. Christmas Invasion isn't that interesting. And again, Idiot's Lantern, while having things I like about it, has things I don't like about it. It's one of those you rewatch it every 10 years or so. Um, whereas Classic Season 2 is really good. Uh, and I think even the stories that are considered bad, it's argumentative. Uh, the Web Planet could be the weakest of the season but I will always give it credit for its ambitious ideas. It is merely let down by the budget. It is an ambitious story. It is a well-written script. Uh, it just doesn't have the money to pull it off, but to their credit, they try. Some of the sets look really good. Some of them look really bad. Some of them look really good. The Monoptra costumes look good and they're impressive. The Zarbi costumes look good. The Grub costumes look bad, but that was something the director added and should have left out. Um, I don't like the Grubs in it. But I love the Zarbi costumes as well. The noises the, the Zarbi make get grating over the course of six episodes. It's not a great story. It's not one I want to go back and rewatch for a very, 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 very long time. But I will always give it props for it the scale of the ambition involved in trying to make it. Uh, the Chase, which is another one I would say is bad, merely suffers from the quality of the episodes changing from episode to episode drastically. The first episode of The Chase is really good. The last episode of The Chase is really good. But then you have some of the episodes in the middle that are not so good, especially the one with Dracula. <sighs> That's awful. So the chase is a mixed bag. But you have so many strong stories. I love Planet of Giants. I need to give that a rewatch, actually. Dalek Invasion of Earth is really good. Uh, the Rescue is fantastic. The Romans is so much fun. The Romans is one of those stories, once you realize it's a comedy, you can have a ball with it. It's so much fun to watch. The guy playing Nero is great in it. Love him. Um, and then the Time Meddler, of course, is also fantastic. And I like the Space Museum. I, um, I enjoy the Space Museum more than most. Yes, episode one is the best, but I think episodes two, three, and four are fine. It just becomes a more traditional Doctor Who story after episode one. I still enjoyed them. Um, so season two by a country mile, as we say here in the South. And the polls agreed with me. 69% said season two, 24% said series two, and 7% said a tie I cannot decide. So season two smashing through uh, series two, almost three to one, 69% to 24%. Let's see in the comments. Shamrock Particle said, I voted for Classic Who, but Mickey and K9 had some great development in the modern revival show in series two. Fair. Seed Hill Bruiser Music says, pretty easy choice, shipmate. I'm an elderly Classic Who fanatic and classic season two is just wonderful. Even the weaker stories like Web Planet and Space Museum are highly enjoyable. Modern Series 2 is okay, but I think it's the weakest of the Russell T. Davis seasons, whilst Classic Season 2 is probably the best 60s season. And again, I like Space Museum more than most. It's such a strong season. 
Uh, Paul Bailey, a fellow Hootuber, says, I'm going to say season two wins this one, hands down. Two Dalek stories, an epic historian, um, meeting another Time Lord for the first time, the first goodbye to a companion. What's not to love about season two? Well said. Uh, Ark the Green Wolf X says, well, let's see. Series two is a season that, while has awesome stories like Impossible Planet and The Satan Pit and Rise of the Cybermen Age of Steel, is also home to easily tenants. Worst stories such as New Earth, Love and Monsters, which isn't as bad as people say, but it's still not good by any means. Fair. And Fear Her and Baffling, Annoying, in Infuriating Idiot's Lantern, while Season 2 is home to Dalek Invasion of Earth and the Romans, two of my favorite stories of the entire show. Top 20 for sure. As well as both The Chase and The Time Meddler being awesome, as well as the only real dud being The Web Planet, a story that I don't want to revisit anytime soon with how much of a drag it is. Exactly. Uh, and everything else being good or great. Oh, and this being my favorite Hartnell season. I haven't seen season three, but I doubt I I'll like it more with what I've heard. And one of my favorite seasons in Doctor Who in general. The choice is very obvious. Stephen Crane, who is also one of my uh, top tier patrons as well, says, pretty obvious choice from me. But having just watched Dalek's Invasion of Earth and Time Meddler for the first time puts classic season two over the top for me. Interesting that you just saw those for the first time. Uh, I wasn't aware of that until I read that. Um, and I asked how he liked it, but I didn't answer back. So you're going to have to tell me, Steve, how did you like uh, Dalek Invasion of Earth and Time Meddler? I'm curious your thoughts on them. I know uh, Stephen... Steven's favorite era of Doctor Who, what really makes him a Doctor Who fan, because again, he's one of my patrons, so we message, or probably of all my patrons, he's the one I talk to the most in messages. And uh, for him, Doctor Who basically starts with Spearhead from Space and ends with Five Doctors. That's his sweet spot, Spearhead to Five Doctors, for the most part. So with him watching uh, a couple of Hartnell stories, especially a couple famous Hartnell stories for the first time, um, I'm really curious what he thought of them. So you're actually going to have to message me and let me know what you thought of Invasion of Earth and Time Meddler. Uh, Bananas Are Good says, again, this is a really tough one, even though I much prefer Classic Who in general. Uh, the modern series you have put on these polls so far do have some tremendous episodes. But Season 2 is my favorite Hartnell season, and Series 2 is my least favorite tenant. So got to go with Classic on this one. Uh, Ryan Carrick says, easily Season 2. Series 2, in my opinion, is one of the weakest of the revival. Ten and Rose are unbearable, whereas the TARDIS team are great in, series, in Season 2. Vicky, in particular, is a great replacement for Susan. I do love Vicky a lot. And, and slots into the show so well. The companion exits are also done uh, so well. There are so many great stories here. Time Meddler setting a new precedent for the show. Dalek Invasion of Earth is great. Planet of Giants, the Space Museum. The Romans, The Rescue are all great fun. The Crusade is a lost gem. I very much enjoyed my watch of The Crusade. JLB Who says, I think series two of Doctor Who is the only series I call bad. It is definitely not the case for me. Go watch series 11, it's bad. Flux, bad. But it's easily my least favorite by far. Uh, as for season two, I enjoy all of it and it's a joy to have on Blu-ray. It very much is. Henry Andrews says, has to be season two. I'm not a fan of the soppy Rose and Tin stuff. Hartnell is great in season two and has some fantastic episodes. Simon Mincher says, New Earth apart, uh, series two is underrated. I enjoy all of the other stories. Do -do 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 -do. I was like, what, Idiot's Lantern? I find Fear Her and Love and Monsters to be terrible. And he goes, fair enough, each to their own. Maybe series two is just my personal guilty pleasure. And to which I added, that's fair enough, because I love Series 3 and have a fondness for Series 7B as well. And that I also like Season 20, Classic Season 24 a lot. Uh, Bobby Freckle says, oh my god, Classic Series 2 easily. Uh, so, so what you're saying is Season 2. Um, I don't know why I'm so... Is pedantic the word I want to use about that? But I, for some reason, when people use the, term, the series and seasons terms incorrectly it drives me bonkers i don't know why like if pe even if i know someone is talking about 
David Tennant's series two. If they call it season two, I'm over there going, but David Tennant wasn't even born when that was done. Even though I know what they mean, I'm going to say something to that effect because it just drives me nuts. I don't know why, but it does when people don't say like season two or series two properly with the classic and modern shows, it drives me absolutely bonkers. Um, Cody W1 says, dude, LOL, season two is a classic. Series two has gone off. <laughs> now, now, don't sugarcoat it. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> uh, Sente Ryder says, modern season two is good, but not great. And mo it models itself up too much in the Rose 10 doctor relationship. Uh, what's that does has my, ooh, I think there was some autocorrect going on here. That does have my favorite two-parter in the Satan Pit and Possible Planet. A lot of stories for me. Uh, a hit, a hit or miss season. Uh, two of Classic Who, who two of Classic Who, however, has a lot of fun stories in it and landmark moments. So it has to be Classic Who for me. And Heath Bradshaw says I gave up on New Who after Matt Smith's second season. Um, yeah, which series six is really where it started to. I'll be honest. So classic by a mile. I am also in the tiny majority who cannot stand Tennant's Doctor. Everything is totally overblown, exaggerated, and I actually find him unwatchable. Also, who doesn't like the Romans? The companion trio is by far and away the best. I do like the Romans a lot. Such a good story. So most of the comments also agree on classic season two over modern series two. So... Classic season two winning by a landslide, 69 to 24%, and me preferring classic season two as well. If you did not get a chance to participate in this poll, I would like you to comment down below and let me know which one you prefer between classic season two and modern series two. Other things to do, don't forget to click the like button. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so click that subscribe button as well. It's free, it's free, and it helps out a fellow Doctor Who fan, and I certainly appreciate it. And there's a lot of things I would like to do with the channel when I reach a thousand subscribers. I'd really like to start doing some live streaming stuff at some point. I know some of you have wanted that. Uh, I also have a Patreon that helps me pay the bills, especially lately, so I very much appreciate if you would check that out, see if any of the tiers there uh, interest you. I want to give a shout out to some of my top tier patrons, Unknown289, Stephen Crane, Finn Perkins, and uh, Colin Coney. I appreciate their support. As I do the support of all of my patrons at all of my tier levels, it really does help. Um, I also have a P.O. box if there's anything you would like to send me to look at and review. And a link to my Amazon wish list is down there as well. Most importantly, thank you for watching.